okay, you just got home from your child's hearing aid fitting and it's so overwhelming. It's really exciting, but you have all these questions because everything that was just said in the office walked out the door, we totally forgot it. That is totally okay. Let's go over a couple parts and pieces of the hearing aid. Hi there, I'm Dr. Stephanie Ortega. I'm a pediatric audiologist and I'm here to help you understand, support, and celebrate little ears every step of the way. Up here, you have three microphones. One, two, three. The most important thing we wanna keep in mind with these microphones, if we're gonna put stickers on the hearing aids, we don't wanna cover these. That would affect the sound quality of the hearing aid. Right here, this toggle switch is the buttons. On these buttons, you might have a light pop up depending on the age of your child and the settings that the audiologist put in. If it's flashing green, that lets the parent know it's on, it's working. This piece right here, that's the ear hook. That piece connects to the ear mold, something like this. It'll be right connected just like that. And then that's what has the sound travel down through the ear hook into the tube, into the ear mold and into your child's ear. At the bottom right here, if you have a rechargeable hearing aid, you'll have these three metal pieces. That's what sits inside the charger. If you don't have a rechargeable hearing aid, you might have a little door that looks like this. That's how you get into that battery. If you have something that looks like this and you know there's a battery inside, but you can't open it that easily, you likely have a tamper-proof door. That's to make sure that toxic batteries are kept inside the hearing aid and away from kids, pets, and anyone else that might get into it.